now you actually have to open up the app wherever you have placed it so open up virtual dub and this is how the window is gonna look like so I already have a file in 4 by 3 ratio right here and to import the file into virtual dub you can do this really easily basically you drag and drop the file into the virtual dub window and you're gonna see two windows the window on the left over here is the window how the video started with and the window on the right is how the video is gonna look like once it's exported so let's talk about some settings that you'll have to adjust so alright I guess I have the same thing in view just the same settings as I have go doesn't matter then in video make sure you have full processing mode and then in auto in audio you also want to have full processing mode so make sure that's selected in options have it sync to audio and those are the main preferences you'll have to work with then click on compression in the video option I use a DivX compressor to make the file smaller um, and it works really well so I'm gonna select DivX and I'll provide a website link to download DivX if you wanna get the codec for it and also in video you'll have to click on something called a filter filters are basically effects that change around your video so for example we want to make our video a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and we also want to make it bigger so I'm gonna click on add and then I'm gonna scroll down and click on the resize filter click on OK so a window is gonna come up it's gonna you're gonna have to select the way you want to resize this video so click on compute height from ratio and I assume you're making a widescreen video so you'll have to do 16 by 9 make sure you change that and I'm also assuming you want to make those HD videos for YouTube so for that you'll have to do a 1280 and it will automatically calculate that 720 is the height so it looks like this resizing filters all set and also this is an optional filter but it helps out with video with the videos once you resize them you're gonna scroll down this is optional of course um, double click on sharpen this is basically gonna make your video I guess a little brighter or a little clearer I'd say and have it just use the default 16 sharpen and then click OK in and right away you're gonna see that your video actually changes sizes right here don't worry if it's black that doesn't matter now if you're gonna make more and more videos I suggest I suggest that you actually save these settings so you don't have to change them each time like I did right now so to save these settings you're gonna click on file sorry and then click on save processing settings right here so I'm gonna save this to my program files like I do always um, I'm going to call this virtual dub 1280 times where's time where's X um 720 um settings so that way I'll have the same settings each time and that will save me a lot of time um so it looks like that's all so now I'm gonna actually export this file um I'm gonna click on file click save as AVI it's gonna ask you where I wanna save it I'm gonna save it to my desktop I'm gonna call this stretched video I'm gonna have it in dot AVI and I'm gonna click save 
it's gonna start exporting it might take a little while depends how long and how big your video is And once it's done exporting, you can exit out of Virtual Dub, and you'll see your new stretched video that I made here. So this is the new video that's stretched out right here. And um, believe it or not, the uh, the quality isn't really that bad to what the original video was in and I'd say you can't really notice the difference um, so this is the original video and uh, I don't know I, w I wouldn't say the quality changed at all I don't know how it works I guess it's magic but that's why virtual dub is a great program um, so that's all for this video please comment rate and subscribe and if you have any questions you can send me a message and I'll answer it